Hello critics, this is Brady TSM, so let's jump right into today's topic. So as I've mentioned before, I do love K-dramas. However, I do think a lot of them are super bad. You see, the thing is, they are very similar to American dramas, and I don't necessarily hate American dramas. However, they're similar in terms of their genre. A lot of them have something to do with love. Now, that's not to say I hate romance dramas. I do like a good romance drama every once in a while. Well, however, the problem is with romance dramas is that they're super unrealistic. And today I will be talking to you about the K-drama I hate the most. The K-drama I find to be the bane of my existence. Boys over flowers. Now for inexperienced, young, impressionable minds, and those of you wanting to get into K-drama, if you ask somebody with profound knowledge of K-drama, they will tell you that Boys Over Flowers is one of the best K-dramas of all time. Here is all I have to say to that. Why you always lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my gosh, stop in lying, always lying to me. You last so much, you're making it hard for me to dun dun. Anyway, excuse my terrible singing, back to Boys Over Flowers. So the main crucial and fundamental reason as to why I hate Boys Over Flowers is all the abuse. They have all types of abuse. For all of you who love shows full of abuse, they have sexual abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse, psychological abuse, emotional abuse. I think the list goes on, but that's all I'm going to name right now. Despite all of this abuse, people love to say that the main character, John D, and her boyfriend, Jun Pyo, are perfect together. They're just beautiful. They're couple goals. How is it that people think a man who grabs his woman, who hits his woman, who speaks aggressively to his woman, makes for a good man. And the show had the nerve to give us second lead syndrome. For those of you who don't know what that is, that's when they have an awesome second male lead that a lot of girls tend to want for the main female character to end up with, and yet they don't end up with him. Why? It's because they put him, them, her, with the trash male lead. I don't even get it. I mean, Ji Hu, yes, he has some of his own problems in the beginning, but he is the only character that has developed beyond reason. All the other characters, you know, yes, Jun Pyul, maybe he changed a little bit, but he stayed the same aggressive person the entire series. And John D went with him. See, at first she liked Mr. Sweet, kind, innocent. I'm going to help you. I don't even hurt you. But no, 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 no. They did that. That. And that just made me really angry because I really liked ji -Hoo. He was actually a character worth being with. And they just ruined the whole show by saying, okay, John D is going to end up with Jun Pyo. Why? Why? How could you do this? Besides the fact that ji -Hoo was the only character in the entire storyline, series, with redeeming qualities, we've got ga -Yul. Now, for those of you who have watched Daybog, you should remember Dom So. Here's what I remember about Dom So. Well, she was a piece of cardboard. That's how we can best describe Ga Yul, because neither of them had any personality. See, they were both so irksome and annoying that, honestly, I couldn't wait for Dom So to die. I was thinking, this girl gotta go by, because there is nothing interesting about her whatsoever. I could not stand by either or of the male protagonist getting Damso because there was nothing to her. And that's what I don't understand about Ga Yul. See, they have this other character, Yi Jun. I don't understand what his point was either. I mean, at least he had some personality. I kind of liked him. He was sort of interesting. But yet, Yi Jun, there was no point to him in the entire series. It was just like they decided, okay, so we need another male character. You know, there can't just be two hot guys or you know we need th at least three hot guys and in this case four hot guys the fourth of which i don't even remember his name because of how unimportant he was but see e june they tried to give him a storyline you know he was this potter he had this first love and i don't even get him and yet they add ga yulin probably because they didn't have enough female characters and decided okay john d needs a best friend and we need another female character so let's add her in 
And they had this whole little love story going on. First of all, God Yule herself was just a cringe fest every time I looked at her. And second of all, what was even the point of putting her with E. June? They don't even match as friends, let alone as a sorry couple that they tried to craft out of them. To be honest, of all the side stories, and obviously I'm kind of biased in saying this because he was only the character that I kind of liked anyway, ji Hu was the only character that had an interesting side story. All the other side stories, they were just a waste of time writing, especially Yi Jun. I mean, come on, he's supposed to be the third guy, the third most important, yet there was nothing interesting about him. I mean, he just kept doing the same thing over and over again. And the only reason why I kinda liked him was because of the way he treated Ga Yul. Because Ga Yul honestly got what she deserved in the way that she acted, in the way that she treated him. I mean, she thought she was everything, acted like she was everything, and yet she was nothing. And another thing that I hated, especially about the female characters in Boys Over Flowers was John D. when she first came out, she was this strong, amazing character who saved a guy from ending his life. What did they do to her? They ended up making her almost take her own life, attempting suicide over Jun Pyo because after he went to the hospital, it couldn't remember who she was because of this whole stupid amnesia thing that was going on. She wanted to end her life over a guy, the same girl that stopped a guy from jumping off of a roof. And she even had the nerve to tell that guy that your life is not worth giving up. So why is it that the writers decided to do this? And her trying to end her life, that ended up triggering Jun Pyo's magical Ugh, amnesia is gone? No, that's ridiculous. And he didn't even have amnesia. Amnesia. All he had was amnesia where he just forgot her. He could not remember her at all. And this girl just tried to recraft his memories in the hospital. Like, it was just... All in all, I think Boys Over Flowers is trash. Listen, there is no way you can change my mind because I have watched the entire series and I didn't think it was trash because it was old. It was trash because the love story was fake and I do not like fake love stories. I like my romance when the love story is authentic and not just put in there because of anything. Listen, I just want a good slice of life drama without any drama of love. And if you're not going to do the love properly, you don't need to do the love at all. A Boys Over Flowers is a classic example of the love being done wrong. Painfully wrong. Painfully so that, as I've said before, people have tried to convince me that it was good, but I am not convinced that it is anything more than just trash. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Tell me what K-dramas you like. Tell me what K-dramas you hate. Tell me why you love Boys Over Flowers if you love Boys Over Flowers. And if you agree with me, that's great. Tell me why you guys hate Boys Over Flowers. You know, I want to hear your reasons. If you like this video and are interested in seeing more content from me, whether it be something like this or something else, please like this video, hit the subscribe button below, and you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Bye, critics!